is a used 2020 Kawasaki Mule SX. This has got uh, the four wheel drive and fuel injection. The SX is the less featured model. It doesn't have some of the extras like a, like a raised up suspension. Um, it's only got two headlights instead of four, a few things like that. But ultimately these are all basically the same. They all have the same motor. It's got a 401 cc engine with one cylinder. It's kind of neat. There's this one lever here to pick up this handle. And then you can expose the engine here and the seat comes up as well. And and that's it. It's a very, very small engine. It's air-cooled, so you don't got to worry about radiator or any antifreeze or anything. It's got one cylinder. Spark plug is right there, so it's easy to change. Fuel tank holds about four gallons, and it has a very good fuel gauge with like an LED readout here, and this is absolutely full. Very small battery on this thing. I think it just corresponds to the starter's pretty small as well. But here's your battery. I mean, this is this kind of battery that you'd use on a little two-stroke scooter. Uh, and the air filter here, it's interesting. It draws air in through this hose, goes all the way up the frame, and then actually pulls air from here. So you get clean air versus dirty, dusty stuff down here. This little storage bin is something that I added off of Amazon. These are on this model, not installed, but on the upper models, they're installed. It's not very costly to add that. This one does have the four wheel drive and actually has uh, an additional thing here. These have a rear locking differential that you can put it in the lock mode and then both wheels will be driving. You gotta be careful of that. You don't wanna be using that when you're on turf or grass, you don't want to tear up. It's got a regular glove box. Pretty good storage in there. I actually have gloves in there. It's kind of funny. And then there's storage in the front too, right under the hood. This little plastic uh, thing just unlatches and pops out. And it's about as big as a medium sized cooler. Nice, got a couple drink holders, very convenient. And that's about it. One thing I added on the back was this trailer hitch. That comes stock on some of the higher level model trims, but this one did not have it. So that again was very inexpensive, uh, but I just added that. It bolts right up under that cross beam piece. So it's pretty solid. It's definitely grabbing onto the frame of the vehicle, uh, but I don't know if I'd be putting a lot of tongue weight on that. This has an upgrade as well, that roof, which is critical out here in Texas, have that roof on top. Uh, comes on the higher trim models, but it's something you can add. All of this throughout here is steel. There's no plastic down there. The whole bed is steel. All of this is steel. Uh, the bed also, when you open up the tailgate, lays flat. Show you how it starts up. Got an emergency brake down here. Got to remember to turn that thing off before we start going. I keep keep messing up with that. But they've got a light right here that'll be bright red when an emergency brake is indicated. So I'll go ahead and turn it on. Just put the foot on the brake. Tap it to start. It's got fuel injection. So it always starts up the same way, nice. here if the emergency brake was on you'll get that bright red light and that's it
got a pretty steep hill up here. We're gonna see how this mule does going pretty much straight up. struggle uh, just held that same pace the whole way up the other thing unique about this mule is the size they are very small. Here it is next to my zero turn. The zero turn is four feet wide and the mule is about the same. And if you've got a long bed pickup truck, you'll be able to put the whole mule in the back of the pickup truck. So yeah, it's definitely a feature if you want something that's a little more compact, a little narrow, more narrow wheelbase. Uh, get in those tight places, save some garage space. It's definitely a handy in that respect. So overall, I really like this thing. I uh, wish I bought it years ago. Uh, little things on it that have been busted that were fixed. These caps on the end of these pipes here were missing. I got these replaced on Amazon. This whole seat cover, very easy to replace. You just staple it in the back along here. It's just a square piece there. Uh, but this is pretty tore up, so we're going to get one of those uh, seat covers to replace that. And then again, there was more caps in the back under here that were gone. They just fell out over the years. So bought some more replacements for those. But overall, hope you enjoyed the video. Learn a little bit more about this Kawasaki Mule SX. Um, and as always, hey, have a great day.